perfect for all your festive parties. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a delicious pear chocolate and Bailey's trifle. So choose your trifle bowl, I do like going a bit retro, and a plate or you could use a chopping board. But here we go, so we've got some lovely sponge fingers, chocolate spread, oh I had to include that but so you could hear that noise, the opening of a new <gasps> chocolate spread. Spread those liberally, fill the bottom of your trifle bowl, pour lots of Baileys on top, be generous, be filled with Christmas spirit. Nah. And then we've got pears. Choose pears in juice rather than sugar syrup. I don't think we need any extra E numbers or sugars in there. Um, and then after you, I've used two tins of pears and then pour some lovely juice on top. Some chocolate chip cookies. You could use chocolate and nut cookies would be delicious and put them in a bag and give them a nice rolling pin down into lovely yummy crumbs. Tip that over and then just make sure they're nice and spread out and then just for extra Christmas party cheer another nice generous splosh of Baileys over the top. It's all soaking and lovely. And then, of course, you can make your own custard. Or if you're in a bit of a rush, um, ambrosia is obviously delicious and so easy to do. And whip your cream for the top. Now, I did get sidetracked, and I have to admit, I over-whipped my cream. So don't over-whip your cream, but give it a nice whip so it looks really gorgeous sprinkle on some more crushed biscuits and then if you want to you can put some lovely berries on top of some description I'm going for some lovely cheerful happy little upright raspberries and then all those bits that are left in the bottom just broken up to make some little jewel type bits for the middle and of course some icing sugar looks lovely just before serving so there you go there's our pear chocolate and Bailey's decadent trifle.